I'm here with hemlock tips and it tastes like eating a lemon Christmas tree. The new growth of hemlock, spruce, and fir are edible and they're quite delicious. They have an earthy, lemony flavor. You can eat these straight off the tree or you can save them later to spruce up a salad. <laughs> you can also make tea with these for a super high vitamin C tea. Let's go foraging for reishi mushroom. Now this is peak reishi mushroom season. The mushrooms are full size, mature, and they've released their spores by now. So this is the time where I harvest the most reishi. Reishi mushrooms are an herb that is used to balance the immune system, mood, and stress levels. It produces a state of calm in the body and helps relieve anxiety. It's also great for autoimmune disorders. I make wild harvested tinctures of reishi on my shop, sonofabear.shop. This vibrant flower is known as red clover. It's an edible and medicinal plant that grows as ground cover. This plant is high in protein and contains lots of vitamins and minerals like calcium, magnesium, and vitamin C. The flowers can be eaten and have a sweet taste to them. The flowers can also be dried and used for tea and tinctures. This plant is used medicinally for helping out the lymphatic system and also treating skin conditions like eczema. This plant's cousin, white clover, is also edible and medicinal. Winner winner chicken dinner. I found this massive chicken in the woods mushroom growing on a hardwood tree in my backyard. This is one of the most easy to identify mushrooms in the forest. It has a vibrant orange top to it with a vibrant yellow underside and tips. It also has very small pores in the bottom. This mushroom is also delicious and tastes a lot like chicken as the name would suggest. I'll be making a barbecue chicken pizza later with this mushroom so stay tuned for that video. I'm so excited. I just found this chicken in the woods mushroom and I'm gonna cook up some barbecue chicken pizza. Let's go. This mushroom is one of the most convincing meat substitutes I've had. I add in a little bit of onions and then barbecue sauce. I feel like this mushroom absorbs barbecue sauce better than most things because it's so porous. Next we'll cook the pizza. It's a pizza kit I got from the store so it's basically a glorified Lunchable, but it's what I had on hand. Once the cheese is starting to melt, I'm gonna add on the barbecue chicken that I cooked earlier. This barbecue chicken pizza was delicious and the neighbor's kids even loved it. Money doesn't grow on trees, however, mushrooms do. This is crown-tipped coral and it grows on hardwood trees in the late spring and summer. You can distinguish this mushroom from other corals by the crowns on each branch of the fungus. At the head of each branch, there'll be three to six points that resemble a crown and this is how you identify this particular mushroom. There are some coral look-alikes that are poisonous however they grow mostly on the ground and are much more compact and they also don't have the little crowns on the top of each branch. This fungus is edible and I eat it mostly in soups and sometimes stir-fries. This mystical albino flower is known as ghost pipe. This flower has no chlorophyll, so it has this ghostly white color, hence the name ghost pipe. This flower grows in the forest floor throughout the summer, and since it has no chlorophyll, it relies on a symbiotic relationship with mycelium in the soil to get its nutrients and its food. This flower is excellent at relieving physical pain as well as releasing emotional trauma. This flower is fairly rare, so harvests sustainably. I only take a few from each patch, and the patches can be up to 40 plants. I'm making a small batch of ghost pipe tincture, and it'll be ready at the end of June. You can go to my website and sign up for the email newsletter if you want to be notified when that tincture is ready. I found my first lobster mushroom of the season. Now this is an edible mold that uh, transforms Rusula and milk cap mushrooms. It transforms these mushrooms into a bright orange lobster looking fungus. As the name suggests, this mushroom does taste like lobster or crab and is a great substitute for any seafood recipe. Last year I made a delicious lobster roll with these mushrooms and this year I'm gonna make a lobster mac and cheese. I just found my first chanterelle of the season. These are cinnabar chanterelles. They're very small, vibrant, colored chanterelle that grows in the forest floor. This particular species of chanterelle is a bright 
reddish orange color. This mushroom has a pleasant apricot fragrance to it and is a choice edible mushroom. Chanterelles are one of the best culinary mushrooms. They have a fantastic taste, smell, and texture to them. And they're probably one of my favorite mushrooms to eat. I just found this massive Berkeley's polypore in the forest. Now I often mistake this mushroom for chicken of the woods or matake, and sometimes I'm disappointed to find it because it's not those two. But this is a pretty good mushroom, especially if you find it when it's young and tender. If you find it at this stage, you can cut around the edges and also the smaller formations because those are still young and tender. <clears throat> this mushroom is a bit chewy. It tastes similar to chicken jerky, but you can add marinades like barbecue sauce or teriyaki to give it some flavor because the mushroom is porous and will absorb all the sauce and flavor. So I just found a jackpot. I found these oyster mushrooms growing a few inches away from some blackberries. Now this is an odd taste combination, but I'm just going to eat the blackberries now as a snack and eat the oysters later for dinner. Sometimes foraging is super difficult. You have to search long and hard to find all the mushrooms and berries. And sometimes it's really easy. You just like walk outside your door and then all of a sudden you find five different plants and mushrooms that are edible. I just found my first golden chanterelles of the season. These are a choice edible mushroom that smells similar to apricots and have a delicious taste and texture to them. I just found this gigantic cauliflower mushroom in the forest and we're gonna make a stir fry with teriyaki, ground beef, and noodles. These are the cauliflower mushrooms right here. Put them in. Look at that texture. Now I'm adding in the Mongolian stir fry. So now my cauliflower stir fry is ready and it looks so good. That is delicious. The cauliflower just absorbs all the flavor of the teriyaki. And it's so good. This little plant is known as heal all or self heal and it has a wide range of medicinal functions. This plant is edible and medicinal, but it's largely known for its medicinal properties. This plant is antiviral and anti-inflammatory. It's good for the lymphatic system, allergies, wound care, gut health. You can use the aerial portions of the plant and make them into teas, tinctures, oils, ointments. Self-heal can be made into an oil and used topically for cuts, burns, and bug bites. self heal is also great as a mouthwash because it's anti-inflammatory and helps with sore throats. self heal has many more medicinal properties, more than I can cover in one video, so research for yourself. This mushroom stains blue and smells like beef stew. This is beef bouillon bolete, also known as two-colored bolete, and it's edible and tastes like beef stew. There's another look-alike that's also edible that smells and tastes like curry. This mushroom has a very distinctive red and yellow color palette. This mushroom turns blue whenever you bruise or cut it. This is one of my favorite bolites to eat. There's a mushroom in the forest that tastes similar to steak. This is the beef steak fungus. I usually find this mushroom growing on live oak trees in the higher elevations, but it's said to grow on other hardwoods as well. The inside of this mushroom looks very similar to raw meat, but as you cook it, it'll get darker and darker and look more like cooked meat. You can make a beef jerky substitute with this mushroom, as well as any other dish that involves steak or mushrooms. I'm going to make a steak and egg sandwich with this this morning. The color blue is extremely rare in nature, but indigo milk cap is a mushroom that has a vibrant blue color. This mushroom is a common edible mushroom that grows from midsummer to early fall in the Blue Ridge Mountains. This mushroom is edible, it's tasty when it's young and tender, but as it gets older, it's going to be the last thing you want on your Burger King burger. This mushroom smells similar to Fruit Loops and can be used as a vibrant blue dye. This multicolored mushroom is worth $100 a pound. It's called Turkey Tail and by weight, it's one of the most valuable mushrooms in the forest. This mushroom boosts immunity by increasing killer T cells in the body. It's also full of antioxidants and helps build healthy gut flora. This mushroom can be tricky to ID because it comes in a variety of different colors and has a lot of lookalikes. You want to make sure the underside is white 
and that it's also bendable without breaking. Please use a guidebook to identify this mushroom. I have dried turkey tail mushrooms available on my shop, sonofabear.shop. I also have some turkey tail tinctures that I make myself that will be available next month. So you can sign up for the newsletter if you want to be notified of those. This gigantic cluster of mushrooms can often be confused with chicken of the woods from a distance, but it's known as black staining polypore. This is a chewy but edible mushroom. The mushroom is very stringy, so I like to prepare it like pulled pork and add barbecue sauce in there. This mushroom likes to form in clusters at the bases of hardwood trees, especially oak. I have a full video on black staining polypore on my YouTube channel. These mushrooms grow in fairy rings in the forest. They're known as honey mushrooms, and they grow from trunks and roots of hardwood trees, often forming circles. These mushrooms are very abundant. In peak honey mushroom season, I can collect three to five pounds in a short hike. The caps have a similar texture to shiitake mushrooms, and I like to take the stalks and cut them up and cook them like french fries. It's super delicious. I have a video on my YouTube on honey mushroom identification, but I'll also create a, another TikTok on how to identify these mushrooms because they can be tricky. This abundant flower is synonymous with autumn and is great for alleviating seasonal allergies. The leaves and flowers of goldenrod are anti-inflammatory, can be used to treat urinary tract infections, sinus congestion, and also improve heart health. You can use the leaves and flowers to make a delicious tea or make a tincture. I'll have a tincture of this plant on my herbal shop, sonofabear.shop, by the end of next month. You can sign up for my newsletter to be notified when that comes out. Do you know that walnuts are actually a fruit? The holes of this nut are used as an anti-parasitic and expel worms and parasites from your intestinal tract. At the core of the fruit is a shell that contains walnuts. This right here is the black walnuts. To process the black walnuts, you'll need a hammer to smash the outer layer. You'll want to use gloves at this point because it will stain your hands black for several weeks. Then you'll want to gently smash the shell so your walnut is intact. You can use the walnuts in pancakes, oatmeal, or just on their own. I also like to make caramelized walnuts with uh, maple syrup. They're really delicious. I have a full video on black walnuts on my YouTube channel where I make pancakes with them, as well as hickory nut milk. Hickory nuts can be used to make a nut milk that tastes like pecan pie. It's so delicious. Hickory nuts can be gathered in the fall and have a husk that peels off, sort of like an orange. They can be eaten raw, or they can be made into pies, or even nut milks. To make hickory nut milk, you just smash the shells and the nuts together and put them in the pot Simmer them for 15 minutes to make a tea out of them, and you can simmer them longer if you want a stronger and thicker nut milk. Sometimes you find seafood growing on the sides of trees. These are wild oyster mushrooms, and they are a delicious edible mushroom that tastes similar to oysters or clams. Oyster mushrooms are high in minerals like iron, zinc, and potassium, and they also have chemicals that are anti-inflammatory and help boost the immune system. This is the true oyster and the one you're most likely to find during the summer, but there is also fall and winter oyster mushrooms that are thicker and meatier, and you'll find those in the colder months of the year. You can use oysters in lieu of seafood, you can use them in stir fries, and I like to cook them in soups, especially ramens and clam chowder. Are you ever craving popcorn shrimp in the woods? Well, look no further. This is shrimp of the woods. It's a fungus that affects honey mushrooms and transforms them into these little shrimps. And has a texture similar to shrimp and also a mild seafood flavor. This mushroom is tricky to identify because you want to be familiar with both honey mushrooms and shrimp of the woods. So I don't recommend it for beginners. You can make all sorts of shrimp rolls and shrimp stir fries with this mushroom. So we got these shrimp of the woods mushrooms with teriyaki sauce. We got on a simple hot dog bun. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, these look good. Oh my God. Mmm. That's delicious. I just found a jackpot of lion's mane mushrooms. These mushrooms are a delicious and medicinal mushroom. Lion's mane are great for boosting mental focus, brain health, and they're anti-inflammatory and they have plenty of other properties. They also taste delicious. Can't wait to eat these. <laughs> I'm gonna eat some of these and then dry some of these for uh, teas and tinctures. I have some Lion's Mane tea on my website as well as tinctures. And I also have a video on Lion's Mane if you wanna learn more about identifying them on my YouTube channel.